Council in Arts and Humanities will be hosting a four artist ex exhibition and joining me now with more our artists Mill Cotton and Tim Hanley. Thank you guys for joining us. Hi, thank Hi. you for inviting us down here. Of course. So tell us about uh, some of the pieces that you will be exhibiting at the art show. Why don't you go first? Your, your uh, well, my stuff is uh, uh, what I'm concentrating right now is kind of a realism as opposed to Mo who is doing a lot of abstract. Uh, so his uh, would be a very different uh, Mm -hmm. kind of a scene between the, uh, between us and uh, his daughter Patty will be showing some of her stuff mm -hmm. which is kind of a mix between abstract and realism I guess huh yeah it, it's kind of like a family affair for you yeah it's, it's <laughs> actually three of us in the family mm -hmm. and I adopted him <laughs> well he said I asked him to be adopted so he, and he said no he can be in the show <laughs> yeah so anyway it's like three three family members and one one additional but he's kind of family, so. Okay, well, yeah. tell me about your work. Okay, well, I've uh, been uh, drawing since sixth grade, uh, and I, I like to tell the story that uh, the reason I'm still doing it mm -hmm. is that I showed some promise when I did a drawing, and the instructor was so complimentary that that got embedded in my mind that I was good at it, you know? Mm -hmm. and it was like encouragement. I, and I'm, that's what I tell parents. I think if, if they show promise in some things, like drawing or piano or whatever, that if they give them, you know, that additional pat on the back and inspirational thinking, that they might just stay with it and and do well with it. I stayed painting pretty much all my life. When I, I was in the Marine Corps for four years, mm -hmm. I did portraits of my fellow people, and that's how I got my little bit of spending money. And then after, I, and then I married an Okinawan girl mm -hmm. who's also my wife. I mean, she's my wife, <laughs> and she will be uh, exhibiting her doll. She she's a doll making. Uh, she makes dolls, and she also teaches doll making. And uh, anyway, I, when I got out in Okinawa, I started uh, doing abstract art. So lately, I've been doing what, objective abstract, where mm -hmm. you see the object, and then you see it's sort of in in a abject form and and then i for this show it's mainly strictly abstract mm -hmm. so tell is, me tell me about the piece that you brought with us okay well i just brought this one i don't know if you can see it but this is one i did a, a sketch of a chamorro girl and uh people liked it so this is actually a copy and i've actually i've been giving them away as presents but uh, uh for a while that's the kind of art i was doing uh, pen pencil drawings, but for this show, it's going to be pretty much a a almost all entirely acrylic, uh, and uh, some frame, some not frame. Mm -hmm. His are not framed. His oh. are big and beautiful. Tim, you brought you brought a portfolio. Uh, yeah, Tell us about well, this that. is just a, yeah. Some <clears throat> of the I also do abstract work as well, mm -hmm. uh, but I do a lot of it on the computer, mm -hmm. and uh, this is just some kind of uh, stuff that I do on the computer very quick you know very uh a lot of motion and color that i put into the paintings and these are all uh drawn with a stylus and uh on a, a, a tablet right mm -hmm. and uh they're basically all flowers so, and uh so this is but this is actually not in the show what i'm doing now is uh more realism and it has to do the series I'm working on now are different birds of Guam mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so I got uh, about uh, seven or eight paintings of uh, they have seabirds uh, shorebirds uh, like the kingfisher which is uh, like a near shore bird and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Pacific reef heron oh, nice. uh, you guys and different about? locations on Guam. <coughs> Those are all pretty large also. Yeah, they're like uh, four foot by 30 high. Something. You're like mentioning that, that a portion of the, not, not all of the um, exhibits are going to be uh, for sale, right? Only some of them is just... Yes, your, but most of them, I would think. Yeah, most, mm -hmm. of, them most of the stuff is for sale. There's not, uh, his uh, wife, uh, May's uh, Japanese dolls are not for sale. They're very beautiful, intricate uh, uh, dolls that she creates. And my daughter's stuff, I don't think she wants to sell hers. Can I talk about the time and the yes, location yes, and all? Okay, well the location is, is in the Talahi building right. in Aganya, which a lot of people don't know where that is, so I will tell you that it used to be the old Union Bank building, 
-hmm. A lot of uh, attorneys are in there. It's near the, the legislature mm -hmm. on that in, in Agania. Uh, it's in, in the Kaha uh, display room. And it's uh, this Friday, two days from today, please come. It's the grand opening. Uh, there'll be refreshments. And uh, it starts at 6 and it goes till 9 o'clock. So we hope that uh, if you're listening, that you'll come and view our work. Maybe even buy something. Yeah. <laughs> that'd Keyword buy That'll be special. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Any final comments, Tim? Uh, no, just uh, please come on down and have a view and, and take a look. You know, it's uh, you know, something to do. It's free. There's refreshments. So, uh, and I think they will enjoy it. Anybody that comes by and has a you look. Bring the kids, even though they yeah. might enjoy it. Thank you. I'm, I'm a believer in uh, letting kids do this because this is something they can do all their life. I could be in a wheelchair and still be painting, <laughs> and I may be there <laughs> soon in that situation. But uh, we, we're, no, we're no, excited no. about this. Well, thank you again for coming in. The exhibit, again, is this Friday uh, in, again, in the, in the Chilahi building. Uh, we're back with more after this.